SD cards. Confirm. It just, it's not showing on here, but uh, I'm doing this light blue cyan color. I'm going to make stuff. It's going to be cool. Stay tuned. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Dust. I'm going to make a new body for this. Let's go over what's in this box. Alright, a few years ago, I picked up one of these axial uh, 1 24th scale Jeeps, and uh, I liked it. I mean, yeah, it's cool. Uh, I can't remember if I bought the yellow or the white one, but I painted it one night just because, you know, intrusive thoughts. So, bad part is, I can't find the battery. I don't know where it went to. So, I accidentally threw it away, I believe. Uh, and I still have the really crappy little battery charger for it, but I'm going to have to go get a new one at the hobby store. So, these things are really incredibly fun. It's just a little rock crawler, so... Uh, I've done some little upgrades here and there. Um, really, which wasn't much. The, I had to replace the front servo, so uh, because I snapped the... Um, things, whatever the, I can't remember words all of a sudden, so, yeah, that's great, but, uh, yeah, I replaced, I replaced, uh, the front servo, the drag link, uh, and everything, <laughs> right there in the front, uh, I'm not sure if you can really see, underneath, there's those brass inserts on every wheel just for a little bit of added weight because these things are lightweight. So uh, it's only a little four channel uh, transmitter and uh, ESC in there. But uh, these are just those, those like polystyrene or uh, hips uh, blow molded formed and everything. So uh, I thought that way. I would print something. I'm going to actually do a first generation Dodge Ram. So, I'm um, flatbed edition, baby. Flatbed. Because, I don't know. I just, just want one. So, she already printing. So, I'm going to be taking about what, nine, yeah, nine hours or so for that. Sorry for putting that in the, in the picture. But, that's going to take about nine hours. Uh, the bed frame and the bed itself. Uh, about an hour and then there's a roll bar and everything for it too so and uh, that should mount right up to the frame of this so I've got a ton of screws I actually made that that's what broke the drag link the what's the word I'm looking for here I don't know put it in the comments but it actually broke the servo um, it won't freaking turn. So, oh, hey, there we go. I barely got it. But uh, yeah, it broke that original servo, so. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. A little messed up right there, but that's fine. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, yeah, no. I don't like that part. Lines aren't the best either. I don't know if it was just the print file itself or how I did it. I mean, now that I look at it, maybe I should do it on the back. Because then there's really only supports for here. Huh, I don't know. Alright, All right. yeah, I'll, that's not bad for cleanup. I'll, that's a lot, dude. I really, yeah, I, that was way too much, way too much, 
but you know, I'll, I'll clean that stuff up off camera, but <clears throat> but I don't know if you can really see it. it just says Dodge right there and everything. That's kind of cool. Not the, it didn't come out the best. I don't know why, but I maybe uh, I'm trying to think if I was using any kind of silly little options in Cura or not, but there we go. Yeah, that's a that's a Gen One Dodge cab right there. I like that. So it's even got the little door handles. They're not the bad. Well, they're they're not too awful bad actually. So yeah, that's gonna look cool. And uh, you know, you saw how hard I just pulled all that stuff off. I mean, it it'll get cracked, it'll get broken, but uh. It's for an RC car, so, of course. Damn, that magnet, man, holy God. I'm not even religious. All right, first I want to get... I mean, I could paint it, but I don't really want to. If anything, I'll clear coat it and maybe put on some freaking... What was it my wife was saying? Uh, Oh, the old pinstriping. Yeah, I'll just like freehand that with a really fine miniature brush. Just put some pinstriping down the side, like 80s style, kind of, you know. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. We live in the moments of my childhood. That's only going to be. Whee! Yeah, uh, 52 minutes. So, uh, probably shouldn't have put my hand, well, I don't know why I always think oils are going to destroy it. Yeah, they will if you don't clean it off, but whatever. I'm talking to myself. But yeah, I'm going to do the grill and the letters in silver, the door handles over on the side there. I'm going to do them in silver. I should get my other camera out to show you a little bit better. Yeah, maybe I'll take a nice little shot with the other camera. You can definitely see like the lines in it unfortunately but I'm okay with that because as I said it's just going to be for an RC thing you know. Getting there. Getting there. That's <laughs> looking cool. That's, that's pretty cool. Ta da! Alright. We got the body all set up. Eh, stupid freaking super glue was not not my friend today. Or uh, not today, but last night when I did this, so uh Yeah. I super glued the plate itself to this frame. And then the little tailgate and our tailgate you know what I mean uh, bumper area then the roll bar so I mean it looks cool I have to admit that so and uh, that will uh, fall into there good shot oh my god my back yeah it's raining today so uh, I'm not gonna do much but yeah, there we go. It's gonna look cool right there in the back window and everything. So, you know what? Let me do this. Move out of the way. There we go. And that is what it's gonna look like. Uh, I'm, I, I decided to paint it anyways, so. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, what is it? Uh, Spin Maker Blue Poly is like a Army Painter War Paint Deep Blue. So, uh, I'm just going to do the cabin deep blue, uh, like a dark gray, maybe a black for the bed. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So. It didn't come out the greatest, so. Oh yeah, I'm wearing gloves because people have yelled at me. 
So mostly family <laughs> in my other videos. So, but I don't know the it didn't print out the best, and uh, I talked to some other people who have printed this same one out from Thingiverse, and didn't work out the greatest for them either. So, uh, there was one for a this is for a one twenty fourth scale. There was one for a one tenth scale, where the body panels and everything are separate, and I was like thinking about doing that. But, uh, you know, I've been just shrinking it down for this. But you know what? This is just a, a trial and error kind of thing right now. So we'll see what happens. I still need to figure out how to mount it to the actual frame. But, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just get this painted up and see what happens. Where are these packaging machines? I got batteries. Finally came in the mail of all things, so. I guess they're charging. I don't know, there's a lot of lights, but the... It, there's like nothing on the box except for, you know, that it's all made in China. Like everything anymore. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying that they didn't give me anything. Even on the user manual, it doesn't say anything. Um, it tells me not to, if the battery raw material splashes into the eye, I need to flush with water for at least 15 minutes and go to a, see a doctor promptly, and I don't need to eat the, the battery. So, with that being said, I'm not going to eat them, but it doesn't tell me what the lights do. Uh, it's just a simple USB charge thing. I don't know. Um, I'm going to give it a little while and see what happens, but we have batteries for it, so... Yeah. Let's see what happens. See if I break something.
So, next problem I had after I got these batteries was I didn't have any batteries for this, so had a Amazon some batteries. Amazon some batteries. I had to get batteries from Prime, so. Yep, yep, yep. So, we already got that painted. I gotta cut out because, um, yeah. The battery right there is kicking up on this. So, even if I bolt this together, it's still gonna be like that. So, I need to cut down into the bottom of it. So, so I've got to. I've got to. What I'm gonna do is. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, hey, there we go. Snip. Really doesn't have to be much. I need better cutters. These things are dulled, aren't they? Oh my god, yeah. See, this is a good part about leaving tools all over. Holy God, that just snapped across the room. That didn't score very good there. And it didn't score very good there either. Oh well. Right. Whatever. Um, it goes like so. Huh, we're gonna have to go deeper. That's what she said. We're gonna have to go deeper. All right, let's go deep. Let's go deep. It's like she's almost there. But here's the whole thing though. Now that I got the bed on there like that, Oh shit, did this come off? Yeah, it did. Might have to glue that. Yeah, so uh, that lifts all the way back up there now. So that ain't good. Uh huh. Okay, hold on. Let's just go. Oh, that's almost perfect. Because I'll raise that up in the back, so. Uh, I mean, uh, or in the front, or in the front, that is. Yeah, I like that. If I put it on correctly. Yeah, we're going to do that th like that. I'm just going to glue the heck out of it, and I still have, I'll, I still got to drill a hole. And I'll raise this up a little bit <clears throat> for the the hood mount itself. Look at that. Can you see that little thing? Like, look at that. It's so small and tiny. I'm probably going to lose it. That's okay. Oh my God, get in the hole. That's what she said. All right. Now I'm about to lose the loose. I need to drill a hole in this. I need a I need a whole thing. I need a drill. That's what I need. Ah, I glued it off camera, so let me get my let me get a let me get a drill. 
Alright. Where was that mark I made? Right about there? Oh yeah. Brown is such a boring color for printing. But it looks like I'm printing chocolate, doesn't it? Yeah, chocolate, baby. Yeah. I'm doing something. Something a little bit different. All right, there's not enough battery life in the camera right now, and it's a, it's, a, it's been a long day anyways, but, uh, well, I got the RAM charger done. We'll wait until the morning. Yeah, I'm going to wait until the morning. You'll wait about 10 seconds. We're going to crack that open. Well, that's doing a little curing and everything. I'm hoping I'm getting some good camera angles for you guys. But <laughs> I printed it all together, tree support. I lo it, it always looks so cool with tree support. So. Um, and what I love about tree support... right off, usually. together like so all right and uh, there's our nice Dodge Ram charger front end so uh, yeah I'll just uh, I'll get that all glued together and everything so I just did it as a draft really <coughs> but uh yeah, I could have put more, I definitely could have put more layers on there. So that was just like under extrusion right there for that, almost. But I don't know, I just didn't do it on this one. Hmm. But I, I actually, I'm going to stay with the army green color though. Here. I mean, that's, ooh, hmm. that right there is a perfect fit. I love it. That will work on the Jeep. Yep. Eh, a little bit of stuff to get rid of, but not bad. Cool, cool. I've got ideas. I've got ideas for these little things. Uh, different video, don't worry about it. We'll talk later. Alright, I'm excited. 
excited. I'm excited. But uh, we'll do more tomorrow. Family comes first. Whew. Which is a little long. If I put in a long one there and a longer one here to lift it up just a little bit. So I am a uh, fur, it's cold down here. I'm making body mounts for this in the back. Um, I shouldn't have uh, even made this mount for the back when I didn't really need it because uh, I had the original from the Jeep body that would have just went on the back of this mount right here. So, you know, on the that would be on the inside. So. But, if, if I actually put that, I'll just hold my thumb to it. As you can see, it wouldn't work. It would be rubbing against those back tires and front tires. So, um, the person that made this, I mean, they did good, but, you know, for the design, but, yeah. So, I'm making different mounts. Kind of found something online. think it might work. I don't know. This thing's Yvonne. Um, Yvonne. Yvonne? I don't know. Is that even? Yeah. Uh, confirm. Yeah, we'll just see if that works. So print that out in an hour. I was going to do it on the resin again, but you know what? Eh, I got some other plans, so we'll figure it out. That's perfect. Okay, it's that right there. I'm just gonna 
knob a little bit of it out. So, now oh, that's perfect. That little corner. to get the right angle on this. There. There we go. Cool. So this is going to be my back of my hinge to hold on here. I tried making two others. That was going to be like right in there, but as you can see, it's too small. And then this was supposed to be up in here, but these are too big. And uh, they were already pre made ones that I found on Thingiverse. I found this on Thingiverse, and it was for an SUV body, but it didn't work out uh, because it was for an SCX 10, as in a 1 tenth scale. So, anyways, uh, this was for a well, 1 tenth scale, so I had to put it down. And Cura to get it to a 124th scale, uh, well, at least to measure up there. Uh, I think I shrunk it down about 57%. So, and that will fit right back in there. And now it holds it where it needs to be for the wheel wells. I'm still going to cut out some, some of the fenders there, the wheel wells, whatever you want to call them, so, but, yar, she works, so, let me put this together and see what we have to do from there, and not try to lose any screws either, <laughs> I'm going to lose them all, and I'll just glue it on the back of that, there she goes, oh, I got to drill a hole, oh, I got to drill a hole up here, but, there we go. But yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. I'm happy, and that's all. That, that's all that matters. I'm happy. That's gonna look cool. I like the army green on it. That's kind of neat. Yeah, reminds me of like the old '70s and '80s Dodges that the army, U.S. military used. So, cool, cool. Drilled the wrong hole. That's okay, but. It's on there. I mean, it's on there. That's the cool part. As I said, it's a, it, it's a prototype idea. I just wanted to see if I can do it. I'm going to have to shave off right there. And I didn't really check the clearance of the tires for the turning, but... Yeah, and don't worry about all that crap. As I said, prototype. This is not the finished product. But it's more about... Can I do it? Blah blah blah. Like the uh, great and powerful Miss Frizzle said, if at first you don't succeed, ask yourself why. I'm succeeding somewhat. I like it, but I don't. Mostly because of the aesthetics, but I mean, it's on there. I'm happy with it though. I'm happy with it. We'll see what happens. Alright, I need to go get coffee.